Happy Fashion Month, everyone! Welcome back to The Fash Life. I'm Pally, and in this video, we will be breaking down the whole Milan Fashion Week. We'll discuss the madness in Milan, some incredible and some not so incredible shows, as well as other highlights and moments. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. From runway drama at Fendi and Todd to seeing Double at Sunny and Gucci, this year's Milan Fashion Week has been a complete and utter madness. There's no fashion without a little bit of drama, so let's break it all down one by one. It seems like the anniversary mania from this year's New York Fashion Week has reached Milan with Italian luxury fashion house Montclair putting on an epic 70th anniversary celebration. Casting over 1,900 people and witnessed by an estimated 18,000 guests, the epic show took place at the highly popular Cathedral Square. Known for their durable and functional clothes, the celebration featured a sea of performers in their legendary Maya jackets. Speaking of celebration, luxury footwear brand Casaday celebrated their 10th anniversary releasing 1,000 NFTs during Milan Fashion Week. Adding to the madness in Milan are celebrities. Kate Moss for Bottega, Naomi and Future for Hugo Boss, Paris Hilton close Versace, but Dolce & Gabbana took it one step further for another comeback attempt. Inspired and curated by their muse, Kim Kardashian, Dolce & Gabbana was said to have reworked many archival looks for their Spring 2023 collection. With a runway featuring a video of Kim K in the background, Dolce & Gabbana incorporated Kim Loves of Neutral and her relationship with other fashion houses, as you can clearly see influences from Denna's Balenciaga and Yeezy. Working with Kim K was a smart move for the Italian fashion house, as it received worldwide attention, and having the famous figure eat spaghetti was an obvious shade to their scandal. While the new collection lacked cohesiveness, the amount of noise they made is a win for Dolce & Gabbana and their brand new identity of being uncancelable. Another brand that isn't afraid of controversy is Moschino. Creative director Jeremy Scott unveiled a collection inspired by the world's current economic situation. This fashion week saw Moschino's usual high camp fashion meet Kitty inflated pool floats getting quickly nicknamed Inflation Chic. Whether that's in bad taste or not, it added to the madness in Milan. The runway can be a cruel place for a model, and this Milan Fashion Week is a great example of that. A video of model Grace Valentine taking off their shoe during the Fendi show went viral and it blew the whole internet up. The model ended up having to explain the situation, clarifying that it wasn't an act and that she was still on good terms with the brand. A model taking off their shoe might not be the worst thing to happen on the catwalk, but if there is any rule for the runway, it would be to not fall. Well, Florence-based brand AVAV thinks otherwise, having their models purposely fall during their runway walk. Then, a video of Carla overtaking Naomi during the Todd Show finale went viral. Because of Naomi's reaction during and after the catwalk, the internet assumed Naomi was upset and was upset for her. This caused the internet to drag Carla, calling her an unknown model. But if you follow fashion even just a little bit, you'll know there's always some sort of drama on the runway. Wardrobe malfunction, models tripping or bumping into each other because of tricky turns and intersections. Drama happens. The reaction toward Grace Valentine and Carla Bruni was disgusting and cruel. 
A model taking off their shoe for their safety is important and there is no such thing as overtaking anyone on the runway. Especially during a finale when the person behind gets to literally close out the show. The thing is though, everyone likes drama and there's nothing like drama on the runway. And there was so much madness during this year's Milan Fashion Week that it'll have you seeing double. And by seeing double, I mean twins. Both Gucci and Sunny feature twins. Let's break it down. Launched in 2015, Sunny is an up and coming brand quickly becoming known for their experimental behavior. With an ambitious concept, the brand set out to put on a show explaining that this was more of a performative art than a fashion show. They successfully played Twin Sujuru, presented a short and concise show that felt young, modern, and at the same time different from the rest. Sunny wasn't the only one thinking of twins though. Gucci went all out with the show dubbed Twinsburg. Teased by creative director Alessandro Michele earlier this year during the Met Gala, the Gucci Spring Summer 2023 show featured 68 sets of twins down the runway. This show was also described to be a performative art with the creative director stating that it was an exploration on our inner selves. This Gucci presentation did something extraordinary and that was captivating the whole world. Now off to the fashion shows where we have some hits and some misses. So what's classy if you're rich but trashy if you're poor? Well apparently steaming your clothes. Yes, Versace has decided that fabric wrinkles are chic. For their newest collection, Donatella set her click of goth brides down the runway. Part 90s grunge and punk fashion and part Gen Z e-girls and emo aesthetics, the designer dedicated the collection to rebels and divas. On the theme of madness in Milan, the latest Roberto Cavalli collection was just that, madness. This year, uninspired tropical patterns joined their usual animal print festa. Distracting and just wrong, if the brand wanted to give the animal prints a rest, they should have put more emphasis on the painting looks as it was its biggest strength. While no one could deny their craftsmanship, the collection felt a lot like an experiment. Since it appears that there is allegedly creative drama going on behind the scenes, it might not entirely be the current creative director's fault. At this point, Diesel has made their comeback with another standout collection. With Glenn Martins at the helm, the brand known for their denim manipulation power was one of the most talked about shows featuring the largest inflated sculpture in the world. Both Prada and Fendi gave off the same energy, mediocre. Blue Marine take us under the sea with their take on the denim and goth trend. While well, Viveda is in love, heart shape and flower and all. Cloudy Runways return to Alberta for ready with a collection all about realization and comfort. Three words that would describe this wonderful show are vibrant, youthful, and free. And that's where I'm gonna end the video. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment your favorite parts of Milan Fashion Week. Next and final stop is Paris. I'm Pelly. Subscribe for more fashion related videos and remember to keep living that fashion life. Bye!